What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at the Xmark All-in-One Dumbbell Plate and Bar Rack. It's a great prosumer piece of equipment that offers a lot of value from a well-established American company. In this video, we're going to take a look at what comes in the box, assemble it, check out its build quality, and then finally render a verdict. It does ship in a large, well-padded cardboard box that clearly identifies what's inside. Just a heads up in case porch pirates are currently active in your area. When we lift the lid, I'm happy to report that all assembly hardware is clearly marked and each individual component is wrapped. I really appreciate the fact that when packaging, the manufacturer took the extra time and made the extra effort to ensure their product arrived at its final destination in pristine cosmetic condition. In order to assemble, you'll need a couple of 17mm wrenches or sockets, a 6mm hex key which is included, and optionally a rubber mallet. We start by attaching the four plate spacers to the lower horizontal beams. Watch your orientation here as each one is slightly asymmetrical due to one beam being slightly lower than the other. I used a small driver to speed up the process, but there is no reason the hex key alone wouldn't work. Unlike the rest of the nuts and bolts, you can go ahead and fully tighten these right now. The installation of the uprights is next. It's pretty much the only assembly step where you could use a, the addition of a third hand. You basically need to line up three pieces and two bolts all at once. Just remember, don't fully tighten down yet. You'll want a little play to get everything lined up in a minute. And moving right along, we've got the horizontal dumbbell brackets. Pretty easy here. The rear one goes up while the bottom one goes down. Next up, we've got the installation of the two vertical bar holders, each one again secured with a couple of bolts. And finally, it's time to tighten everything down. No torque values are provided, so I'm just going with the industry standard measurement of tight enough. When it's all put together, we can start adding some weight. As I place all the dumbbells and plates in their respective spots, you'll notice this rack is actually quite big. If we break out the measuring tape, we get a total width of 56 and a quarter inches, or about 143 centimeters, much wider than I had anticipated based on internet pictures. On the vertical side of things, we're looking at 42 and a half inches, or 108 centimeters. I actually find it to be a very practical height. Alright guys, so I've got her all assembled and loaded up with all the weights I own, which would be, let's see, it's a 5, a 10, set of 15, set of 20s, set of 35s and a set of 40s. Um, I would say quality wise, it's not quite commercial gym level, but it's definitely a step up from normal like kind of cheap feeling home type equipment. It's more like if you were to put a label on it, like semi-commercial, like something you might see in a like an apartment gym or something like that. Um, so it does have a little bit of play to it. Not much though. You can kind of See that there. Um, to be honest, if I'm just being kind of a little nitpicky on it, it really wouldn't have killed them to put a little support brace like right there. I don't know if you're able to see where I'm pointing, but something to just kind of stabilize this up right here because there does seem to be a lot of weight on a relatively small joint down there. Um, according to their website, it is rated to handle all this, so I'm not particularly concerned about it like not doing it. And it overall feels solid. Everything's made out of eighth inch um, steel here, so it does feel solid. I just kind of, I do wish it didn't have that little bit of play to it, but whatever, nitpicking on that. Um, as far as capacity goes, I don't think you'd be able to get a full five through 50 pound, um, set on here, because out of this, we're missing a set of 25s, which if we scrunch these all up would fit there which would put a set of 30s there and may be able to, yeah, I don't, I don't think you'd be able to actually get a full set up to 50 on here. You'd have to, you to skip something. You could do a five through probably 45 or potentially a, yeah, potentially a 10 through 50, maybe. I think you'd be one spot short though, I'm not really sure. Uh, right down here, these are all bumper plates. So these are 10, 15, 25, uh, 35 and there is extra room over here to get a set of 45 so you can definitely get a full uh, plate set on there no problem um, this is a seven foot bar uh, not an eight foot bar the eight foot bars over there and then I have my easy curl bar and they both stand there very nicely so overall if I was to say like on a score out of five or something I'd call this like a I call it like a four like a solid four maybe a four and a half 
just because I do really wish there was one extra brace in between here to kind of stabilize all that weight because like I just mentioned, there does seem to be quite a lot of weight on just what amounts to one small little bracket down there. So, okay, yeah, the Xmark all-in-one storage rack.